give everyone a minute to get in here. Hmm. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. This is always my problem. I always forget what I'm doing uh, after the last gameplay. Let's paste. I'm sharing this out for everyone. Let's see. Hmm, give everyone a second to get in here. Ooh, I need to sneeze. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, hey, I'm about to fight these things. Cool. We'll start off the game with a fight. <laughs> Alright, cool. I think I've shared this everywhere now. Cool beans. All right, let's go kill these things. Wait, I don't think this is the last game. Let me see. Load games. When was the last time? 1748. Okay. Okay, this is acceptable. Tesla, go kill the first. Alright, go kill the second one. Mission, go kill the first one. There we yes. go. Yes. Uh, hey, thanks for the follow. Done. Gosh dang it, Basil. Just kill them. Come on, mission. You can do it. Come on, mission. Okay, her his Jaffy stick isn't helping anymore. Where's her viral blade? I wish you could use a lightsaber, that'd be dope. Okay. I need mission to level up already. <laughs> Mission's gonna die. Alright, let's, uh, let's. Is this a life support? Come on. Come on, mission. Life support. There we go. Alright, you know what? Homeboy. Let's have you kill him. Bastila. Come on, Basil. There we go. Good girl mission. I wish mission could use the force. She'd be a badass Jedi if she could. Yes. Huh? What? Heal. 
I'm here. What? What? What is my mission? I can't remember. Quest for the Starforge. You've discovered another Agent Star map in the Dune Sea of Tatooine. As before, the map is incomplete, but each map you find uh, fills in more of the missing pieces of the puzzle. Hopefully, once you find all the star maps, they will give you the location of the Starforge. Oh, Bastila's mother. You know what? I need a workbench so I can upgrade my lightsaber. What's up, homegirl? Let's talk. How can I help? You want to talk? About my mother. And I suggest we move on. Alright, let's go talk to Bastila's mom. Guess we have to. We can get this out of the way. I'm trying to have my character woo her. Uh, because they're supposed to be married, right? I'm trying to have my dude work his magic. You gonna give the Tuscan Raiders the Crate Pearl? I have two Crate Pearls, so I'm gonna give them one, because I killed that guy. So let's go talk to Basila's mother. Then after we get done with that, we'll pick up HK, we'll go to the Sand People, we'll hear some stories, and, uh, yeah. Oh, you know, I forgot to talk about the, the little sand people guy. We need to find out about that. So these Jawas are scavengers who were enslaved by the sand people. I think I am beginning to understand his plight. Hey, thanks for the follow. Yeah, okay, where's the cantina? Okay, let's go talk to my girl's mom. not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? Would you deny me even that? I've never denied you anything, Mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the Order, but I do. You were the one who pushed Father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living in wealth. You think I don't remember the fights. You were eager to send me to the Jedi, even though I didn't want to go. You took Father away from me. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't... No, I don't wish to argue with you anymore, Mother. It's time we parted ways now, for both our benefit. Will I have her turn dark side if I have her listen to the Mother, or no? I'm not sure. <sighs> I'm not sure what to do. What do you guys think? I don't know. I don't know. Because <laughs> it's like, maybe you should listen to what she has to say. Do you really need the Holocron Vasla? You're right, let's go. If you want Basila happy, pick the first option. Okay. You don't know her. My mother is notoriously deceptive when she wants something. Why should she have the holocron? Is it too difficult to believe that I am a dying woman who simply wishes to see her husband one last time? I find it difficult to believe anything you say, mother. 
Sounds like you've already made up your mind. Maybe one of you should be the first to give the other a break. I agree we should be. Alright. It shames me, but I just I find it difficult to let go of the past. I'm sorry, Laura. I was hard on you, dear. I wasn't a very good mother to you. I know that. Your father loved you so. He wanted you to be just like him. He wanted to take you on his hunts, but I said they were too dangerous. Yet yeah, Eli has been gone these dangerous expeditions. I always tried to keep him from the dangerous ones, but he would have none of it. It was a reckless life we had. Always moving. I didn't want that for you. So that's why you gave me to the Order. What do your father and I have to show for all those years of hunting? Nothing. That was no life for anyone. Especially not someone as gifted as you, your father. He spent all his last years trying to pay for my treatment. That's why he went for the pearls. I begged him not to. But your treatments. I'm dying, Basil. I did not lie about that. It's been a long time in the coming, and there's really nothing that can be done anymore. I told your father to let me go. But you know how it was. He's stubborn. Like you. I'm so sorry, Mother. I don't know what to say. Keep the holocron, Basil. It would do me good to know you have it. This talking to you. This is what I really needed before I... I know. Thank you. I'm glad we talked too. Oh, now. You said you had important business. And you were never one to mince words. You there. You take care of my daughter. You hear me? Um, if she'd let me. I'll feel a lot better knowing there's someone to watch. Why are you going to go? It doesn't matter, dear. Don't you worry about me. Here, take these 500 credits. That's all I have. Go to Coruscant and find a doctor. I'll meet you there after... after what I have to do. But I already told you, there's nothing that can... Please take it. I want to see you again. Then we can talk. <sighs> all right, I will. You do what you have to, Rastila. You go make your father and I... I'll try. Farewell, Mother. Alright, let's talk to my lady now. How can I help? Yes. That brought me a lot of peace. More than I thought it would have. Thank you for urging me toward it. After all my training, I would have thought it would have been easier. Apparently, I still have much to learn. How can I help? I do. I've been trying to come up with the best way to say this for some time. I suppose I should just come out and say it. But the truth is, I have come to depend on you. Not Bam. just for, sake well, well. for my own sake as well. I am I'm glad you're with us. Tutu, stop barking. Tulip, stop barking. <laughs> what was that? Am I going deaf? <laughs> I think I'm going deaf. You better say it again. Is that a compliment from you? It made it sound very painful for you to admit. Uh... I think I'm gonna go with the person. You're teasing me. You know very well what I said. I'm still reeling from the shock. Was that a compliment? Well, yes. Surely that's not so surprising. You're kidding, right? It's just you sounded so pained saying it. Did I? It occurred to me that I may have been too critical of you, too demanding at times. Thank you. Uh, I think. Thank you. I appreciate the gesture. I know my manner can be a bit taciturn. I know you must be getting sick of my lectures about the dark side and, and everything else. I spent all my years being hounded by my instructors, being told so often how gifted and important I was until I was sick of it. I remember when I was younger, I used to swear that I would never become as self-absorbed and stodgy as the Jedi Masters. It's ironic, really. Don't forget edgy... Oh, no! Okay. No, come on! There you go. Uh, don't forget edgy, critical, and... Oh, go away! I can't read the screen, you stupid little thing. Uh, critical, overly secretive, nonsense. You're not self-absorbed or stodgy. Uh, let's see. That's kind of you to say, but I know for myself it's not really true. Being controlled has kept everyone around me at arm's length. 
even those like yourself who are most in need of my understanding and compassion. Maybe it's time to change that. You deserve to know how much I respect and admire you. I had to tell you how much I care for you. As a friend, of course. Um, we could be more than friends, Basla. Ooh! Please, it's, it's not allowed. I have to remain true to the Jedi idea. If this is going to cause a problem, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. No, I'm glad you did. I care for you too, Basla, as a friend. Oh, fuck that! Don't friend zone her. Great, you've had your say. Now leave me alone. God damn it. Did I just friend zone myself? Damn it. <sighs> How do I unfriend zone myself? Ugh. <sighs> so difficult as I feared. Thank you for hearing me out. I feel, I feel much better. But enough soul searching for now. Can so I still get her? Or is, am I officially friend zoned forever? How can I help? You'll get another chance? Then I suggest we move on. Should I just undo that? Or is it always going to end in, oh no, I can't because of the Jedi? Dang it. Oh yeah, Ryan, I stream on here every day now, it seems, because I'm trying to get uh, that affiliation. Let's see. Let me actually see how close I am. Let's see. Unlimited throne zone. You'll get another chance. Are you sure? Will I get another chance or have I been officially friend zoned by by his lady? Because if if I can get to that level in this playthrough, I'll try to. No, you can make out with Basil on the Evan Hawk. Should I? I've had that conversation on the Evan Hawk. <sighs> Why are women such a pain in the ass? see my um my settings and all of that Let's see no it'll happen later okay just as long as it does gosh this thing's taking forever all right let's go to the Evan Hawk then try to make this shit work That's only if you romance Basil. I've been trying to romance this damn woman. This is his lady. It must be such a pain in the ass dealing with women if you're a guy. How can I help? You're curious about something. Am I so transparent? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, considering our bond. Yes, there is something I would like to ask, if you'll permit it. Go ahead. In our time together, I've been watching you. I've seen your tendency towards giving in to your darker emotions. You do as you please, for the most part. Don't worry, this isn't a lead-up to a lecture. I'm fascinated by your passion, by how easily it comes to you. You seem to do whatever you want, something I would never dare consider. Don't you fear the consequences? No, you should try it yourself sometimes. Life's too short to be afraid. Maybe a little, sure. Fuck! Which one do I pick? Oh my god. I haven't saved. I should have saved before I had this conversation with her. I'm gonna have to do all of this over again if I do it wrong. Guys in the chat, help me! <laughs> I think I needed to wait till the fourth planet. Oh, go away, stupid remote. Um... We are expected to read women's minds. No kidding. For to bounce around the planet, planet completed. Guys, help me. Which one do I pick? <laughs> I don't know which one to pick. <laughs> it's one, no, you should try it yourself sometime. Life's too short to be afraid. Maybe a little sure. Oh, try it. 
I doubt my old master would approve of your advice. Besides, I'm not like you. I must always be on guard against such outbursts. I've always struggled for control over my passions. I've always been too quick to anger, too quick to get involved. My instructors constantly berated me for it. I've often dreamed that I might be able to confront Dark Malik myself. I dream I can use all this power I have to kill him and stop all the death and destruction. I just think about all the evil that the Sith have caused and I, I get so furious. Yet we are told that these feelings are the path to the dark side. Are you saying you don't believe in the corruption of the dark side? Uh, I think destroying that kind of evil would be worth it. You have to trust the wisdom of the Jedi Code. It sounds like you have your own demons to face. Fuck this shit! None of this is romantic! How is this dude supposed to woo this woman if he doesn't get the best lines? Mm. Option one. I don't know. Would the power I use to kill Darth Malak be too tempting to keep using? Would I become the kind of evil I want to destroy? The very thought that I could become as evil as Malak I just can't fathom it. It just doesn't seem possible. I mean, how could I... No. Wait, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be asking you this. The Jedi teachings are clear. Who am I to question them? And even worse, who am I to try and make you question them? What? All these dangerous thoughts. The indulgence of a vain mind. Please, forget I ever mentioned this. Let's just return to our mission. <laughs> Damn it, bitch! How can I help? Then I suggest we move on. How am I supposed to woo this woman? <laughs> she doesn't give me the right talking points. This is so frustrating. Okay, let's go talk to HK. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Affirmative. Request. I own. Statement. Now close the last panel, supplication, as you desire. Yeah, what do you want? The war we had with the Republic was supposed to be the most glorious battle in our history. But it was a very costly one. I guess we didn't think of how much we could lose in it. There weren't many of us after that last battle. Mandalore himself was killed at the hands of the Jedi Rebel. The best of us could not no, defeat him. After that last battle, those of us that survived were stripped of our weapons, our armor, and our basilisks. Revan's forces destroyed them while we were forced to watch. Those who hadn't fled earlier were left with nothing to call their own. No weapons, no armor, only the honor of having fought in the battle we just lost. For many, this was not enough. While the rest of us were sent into exile on the outer rim, they tried to relive the old days, raiding worlds. They're nothing more than bandits now. And you eventually came to Terrace? Yeah, I came to Terrace. And forcing for Davik was not stimulating. The gangs on Terrace and Davik's rivals were trash. They give no thrill in battle, no honor or glory in defeating them. It was like stepping on bugs. I saw worthy Hey, thank you. Could offer with nothing to but I think now, with you, I may finally find opponents worth fighting. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. I am honored. You are a worthy champion. Maybe later I'll tell you more about what it was like to work for Dalek. For now, though, we should get on with our lives. Is there something else you... Your choice. Alright, let's go talk to Mission. Oh, you know what? Let's upgrade my lightsabers.
Dang, look at my lightsaber. Look at how dope that looks. Fuck yeah, bitches. I need another one. Hey there. What's the matter? Look, I'm happy Griff's alive, but I'm mad at him right now. And I don't know what kind of job he's got. Anna, did you end the romance line with Basila prior to this dream? I'm not sure which one. Okay. I've been doing the like the comments where he hits on her, but I've been trying to romance this woman for a long ass time and it just doesn't work. I always pick the ones where he's hitting on her. And she always shot me down. Forgive me for the intrusion, human. My name is Sanai Yek. I believe I dropped this data pad and I wish to return it to you. I didn't drop anything. What is this, some kind of con game? No, this is no game. I simply saw you drop this data pad and I wish to give it back to you. I didn't drop anything. I'm certain you did, human. Please take the data pad. It's yours, I'm sure. Now I get to be what in the, this is for that bounty hunter side quest, right? A data pad contains a digital description of you and Bastila. It also has a brief message. Bastila has an escaped Taurus. Cobra can find and dispose of her, and her Jedi companion will be greatly rewarded by Lord Malak himself. Uh, this data pad contains a single short cryptic message. The Geronian says to see Hylos on Manon. Come alone or not at all. All right. All right, let's go hang out with the sand people again. After we kill these mofos.
Die, bitch. Come on, die. Let's loot them. I can get the other ones when I come back. Let's uh, go to the Sand People camp. Thank you for the follow. Oh, I need to fix my goal. I reached my other goal. Okay, let's uh, start new goal. All right, guys, we got a new goal. <laughs> Romancing Basla. I'm trying. This chick is always playing too hard to get. Oh, Tutu, what do you want? What are you doing? Oh, you'll be princess. She's such a sweet girl. I just pissed him off, didn't I? Translation. He said that outsiders use machines to convey them and to make their 
God's easier. This severs the connection with the land. Translation. Connection to the soil must be made through flesh. A sacred animal is the only external tool to be used. Ask why he arranged for vibrators when they're unnatural. Translation. <laughs> He says that the use of these blasphemous things will only be tolerated because outsider interference has forced it upon them. Translation. If your kind did not come here, he would not have to defend their ways or their land. How does he have contact with the land completely covered? Translation. Thank you. It is an insult to take too much of his time. Translation. Translation. We are free to leave. All right, the storyteller time. Compared to the warriors that you have encountered, the Sand People storyteller is relatively calm in his movements and speech, but he still regards you coldly. I'm honored. Ask him what uh, he records. Um, he will speak it. They don't write it down. can I choose from? Begin the history. Translation. It begins with the ancient times. They were not sand people, for there was no sand. The land was green with life, and they walked without wrappings. Translation. Though the land was beautiful, they lived apart from the land. They built their walls high and saw beyond the horizon. They dared to reach the stars. Translation. There are no words for how long ago this was. It was before the outsiders, before the abduction, before the cities fell, before the builders. Continue with the history. I want to ask a question about what I've heard. Cautionary. I should warn you, Master, that any questioning of their interpretation may be seen as trying to change the meaning of what was said. Clarification. They may consider this to be speaking the words in error, a blasphemy they would attempt to kill you for. Verification. It would appear that they once had a thriving technologically advanced society, but were wiped out by a much more sophisticated alien species. Is there anything in Galactic Record that would verify this? Negative. I am no library, but since there is no Republic record of this planet having sentient life before Zerka colonization, I doubt you will find such evidence. Translation. 
Ask if they have an image we can compare with a current species. Cautionary. Master, this line of questioning may be interpreted as attempting to change the story. He may react poorly. Doubting. I don't believe he can, Master. Even if their stories are exact and unchanged, it is likely they were first told thousands of years after these events occurred. This has become very much like a creation myth for his people. There is no date. It simply was. Obedient. I will ask whatever you wish, Master. Translation. Continue with the history. I want to press, ask questions about what occurred. Cautionary. Remember my warning, Master. They may consider certain questions to be. I want to ask something about the time of enslaved. Uh, something about the ancient times. The time of enslavement. Clarification. I believe they were occupied by this technologically superior species for a substantial period. Stripping an entire planet of usable resources. Have taken generations. How many people were taken off world? Translation. Translation. He has no number. He claims that those that were taken were examples of the worst of his kind. Arrogant and uncaring of the land. Doubtful. Master, this is just another distortion due to their demonization of the builders. It's like claiming an aspect of his people were taken, not actual individuals. Clearly, history has colored his view. Of course, only the inferior meatbags were taken. The remaining were his ancestors, after all. It must have been special. <laughs> Yeah, how many was, um... Obedient. Translation. Translation. There came a time when the builders were also judged for their crimes. After generations, a plague weakened them, and the time of the Great War began. Translation. The builders faltered, and his people realized why they had been punished. That they understood the crime and would now strike down the greater offender. In translation, they worked chaos in the machines, so they destroyed themselves. The builders fought back, laying waste to the green that had been misused with fire from above. In translation, soil became glass, grinding to sand, but the fight was long planned, and his people were safe. Deep in cave holes carved from valley wall, they were free. Cautionary, remember my warning, Master. They may consider certain questions to be speaking the words in error. Clarification, the occupying force suffered some sort of species-wide plague that lowered their numbers over time. 
his people used this extended weakness to sabotage their larger ships. The response of the builders appears to have been to lay waste to the entire surface of Tatooine. How can they repel such a powerful species? What kind of weapon could do so much damage? Clarification. I may not have properly conveyed how long they fought with the builders. Given time, any number of armaments could destroy a world. Hypothesis. Perhaps this is another distortion. Their climate may have begun to fail due to their unrestrained development even before the builders arrived. Looking back thousands of years later, such a shift could easily be attributed to the much-hated conquerors. Hypothesis. If his people were moving away from technology for a long time under the builders, they may have had extensive cave systems that could grant shelter. I would also suggest that, given the evidence of the massive shift in the nature of their society, most of them did not survive. Mm. Obedient. Translation. Editing, if I may ask, this section of his tale details several millennia of the long walk. Their nomadic wanderings as they accept their identity in a desert world, rather than strain my circuits on his dialect, might we just assume there was much fighting over who has the biggest banter and move on to more recent things? No, I want to hear it all. Resignation. Very well, Master. <laughs> Translation. The tribes spread far, distant from each other, and all the sand people had all cherished the land that remained. The sand would not be misused. Translation. Then machines fell from the stars again. Outsiders like you that brazenly walked apart from the land. And greater still was the insult to come. Translation. These outsiders reminded them of their past transgression, of the time when they too walked apart from land. The outsiders, your kind, looked like their ancient abducted. Translation. So it is to the current sons that the sand people hate all outsiders and give them no footing. You come again time after time, adaptable slaves to the machine. Alrighty. Cautionary. Remember my warning, Master. They may consider certain questions to be speaking the words in error, a blasphemy they would attempt to kill you for. Impatience. Really, Master. I'm sure it's important to him, but it has nothing about it. Agreement. Of course, Master. Just no more of their inane wandering. Obedient. Translation. Translation. The tribes spread far, distant from each other, but all the sand people had all cherished the land that remained. The sand would not be misused. Translation, then machines fell from the stars again. Outsiders like you that brazenly walked apart from the land. And greater still was the insult to come. Translation, these outsiders reminded them of their past transgression. Of the time when they too walked apart from land. The outsiders, your kind, looked like their ancient abducted. Translation, so it is to the current sons that the sand people hate all outsiders and give them no footing. You come again time after time, adaptable slaves to the machine. Dun 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 dun. Edited. The last thousand years are full of conflicts with different groups of attempted planetary settlers, all of whom are poorly described, long dead, and likely untraceable. I believe 
I have truncated it down to the usable bits of what was already said. I hope it is enough, Master. Let's save. Thank you. Let's go find these Jawas. You are not ghostly giants that hold us trapped. The people of the sand, you are free from the old city. Isis must have sent you. Coming. Are you rescuer? You must be. Uh, if I let you out, this whole place will turn on me. I need to ask you more questions. Um, I'll release you later. I have to make sure it's safe first. Um, what do you mean by old city new? The city now founded by the group that digs is not new to you. We scavenge what came before. It will fall again some days from now, or many days. That is what happens. Now, please. Um, I'll release you later. I have to make sure it's safe first. Please return to speed. Alright. So, do I just go talk to the chief and ask them to be freed? Do I have his Jaffe stick? I do. Hey, thank you. Are free. All 
Alrighty. Well, that was an accomplishment. Severe video lag. Dang it, what's going on? Ugh, my internet is shit. I apologize, guys. Mmm. Hopefully it fixes itself. F, no, what happened? Go kill these things. Alright. Oh, no, I gotta loot them, right? Oh, you two, out of my way. Let's go loot this one. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. As he hoped it was, uh, I hope things, this, it is as agreed as, as he hoped it was. I have things to give you, uh, take and be welcome. Pepper trade gives value there, we deserve you are at calling the deal and air. Uh, more for you, but that is all. Thanks for yours. You must go remember. What did I get? 500 credits? An item was received. What did I get? A gimme.
All right, let's do some swoop bike racing. Wish me luck, everyone. Fucked that up. All right, let's try that again. To get like 23 seconds, right? Twenty-three ninety. Oh my god. This is gonna be difficult. All right, guys, wish me luck. beat it. God dang it. Oh, 
This is hard. Goodness, everyone. Talking up this far. I want to ask you a few questions if you have time. I always have time for fellow soup racer. Go ahead. I want to ask you about racing. My name is Zor Zoris Blanco. I suppose I am one of the more experienced racers here. What do you want me to answer? What is the best place? Is this the best place for racing? Perhaps not, but it will do for now. Professional racers like myself travel wherever the uh, purses are highest. It's no secret that one of the most popular tricks we lost was Terrors. Other promoters will need to organize. In the meantime, we will race at the smaller venues. This is almost a recreational spot for me. If the track is so small, why bother? Uh, you lose the skills if you don't use them. Uh, how long have you been at this? A few years, but I raised under a different name. When I was young, my early career was not very spectacular. Why did you change your racing name? It wasn't that big deal. I made the jump from one league to another and wanted to shed some of the baggage. Don't waste too much thought on it. It was purely a personal matter. I had nothing, uh, no bearing today. Um, what could you tell me about the other racers? Some promising newcomers. Graham tries hard. I wish him well, but Nico's the one to watch. But you already know that. The favor you have done for him. I hope I'm greatly years to come. <gasps> How can I help? Then I suggest we. How can I help? Then I suggest we. All right, here we go, guys. Fuck. And I'm fucked. 
How the fuck am I supposed to beat this time? This is ridiculously hard. I don't want to do swoop bike racing anymore. Fuck this shit. It just makes me frustrated. Greetings again. I see that. Well, that is a very big headache that you've removed. I'm sure there are still sand people out there, but they'll be quieter now. I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the bargain. Zerka Corporation thanks you. Let's persuade her a bit more. I could maintain my vigilance in the future. It would be valuable to have someone on call if the sand people made another incursion. Oh, peaches. Right. Yes. Text Here's an additional reward. Once again, Circuit Corporation thanks you. Mm. I got monies. Ah, just the person I was hoping to see. Mission didn't come with you, I see. Oh, guess she's still. As you may know, of course. Now I'm gonna have to redo this. I know this guy, promise, if you can get your head. Sorry, like I said, but you come through. Please. Come on, you bring me a sim. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to reload it. Because I want to have mission there. Come on, ladies. Come on, girls. Stop running around. Thank you. Greetings again. I see that. Well, that is a very. I think I'll give you a bonus. It would be valuable to have. Yes. Here's an.
Sure. Ah, just the person I was hoping to see. Hmm. Save it, Griff. I'm not talking to you. I want no part of whatever you're involved in. Okay, sis, I see you're still mad. Fair enough. I don't think you can help me with this anyway. It's uh, more of a job for your friend here. As you may know, tack glands can be refined into a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian ale. That's what makes it so strong. Of course, now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian ale has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Luckily, I know the secret recipe. I know this guy. He's with the exchange. If I give him a small sample of Teresian ale, he says he can synthesize it and reproduce it in mass quantities. Problem is, I need one of those tack glands to make the first batch. Now the Taurus is a smoking ruin, the only place to find tack is on Ketchik. If you can get your hands on one of those tack glands, I'll make it worth your while. Griff, are you blind? Can't you see you're talking to a Jedi? We're out here trying to save the galaxy. You can't waste time on this. Please, you have to help me. I, I promised this guy from the exchange a sample of Teresian ale. If I don't come through for him, he's gonna break my legs. Or worse. Yeah, I knew you'd come through for me. You won't regret this. You'll see. Uh, just, just don't take too long, okay? This guy from the exchange could stop by any day. I kind of told him I already had to stop, so if he shows up and I'm empty-handed, well, let's just say I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. Hey there, what can I do? I'm worried about Griff and his latest plan. I got a bad feeling about it. He doesn't know anything about brewing Teresian ale, and now he's got himself mixed up with the exchange. Sometimes Griff can be so stupid. Part of me just wants to let him get what's coming to him. Oh, thank you um, for the donation. I appreciate that. Maybe a couple broken kneecaps will do him some good. Maybe that's just the kind of jolt he needs to turn his life around. Only, what if they do something worse? They might kill him. I don't want him to die. He doesn't deserve that. But I just can't keep supporting his crazy schemes. Someone has to teach him a lesson. You have to stick by your family mission, even if there's slime symptoms. No one can teach him this lesson mission. He has to learn it himself. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not going to change him. Griff is going to keep on being Griff. Maybe if we get these tack plans for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. I know it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. Oh, damn it. I got a light side point. Oh, five. Fuck. How can I help? Can I suggest you?
I heard what you did out on the dunes. I'm impressed. I'd never have thought a tender for My name is Doric Quinn. I'm a hunter. I hunt. Is that enough, or should I start listing my family birthdays? I don't go telling stories. You seem pretty prepared to hold your own with most of them. I heard what happened with the Gamorians. Good work with them. I think you'll do just fine around here. <sighs> Why don't you tell me? It used to be a one-on-one -on -one test. I could stomach maybe a pit. If that's what you want. See you around. How can I help? I like to talk about what you said before about giving into your emotions. Oh my gosh, yes! Yes, I did end that quite abruptly, didn't I? Perhaps a master could have addressed my questions with the proper wisdom. But I never should have brought it up here. Not with you. Part of my purpose on this mission was to guide you in the way of the light. To help you avoid the temptations of the dark side. But I fear I failed in that task. I don't think I'm the proper Jedi to guide you. No! I know, Master. You should have remained with the Council. Why do you say that? The fact of the matter is, I have never possessed much skill at controlling myself. With the bond that joins us, it seems I have even less. Whether you will continue on your current path and fall to the dark side, I don't know. But it is increasingly obvious I am unable to guide you properly. I don't know. I think I may have made a very big mistake. I simply hope that you are not the one who pays the price, ultimately. Maybe we could help each other. That's a kind of response that I deserve. And I can see there is wisdom in your words. You, you continue to be there for me, don't you? Even after I keep pushing you away, you're still around when I need you most. You're like no man I've known before. And you're nothing like what I expected you to be after. After the council sent us on this mission together. We're made for each other, Vasco. You have to see that. Ooh, Vam Chicka, wow, wow. Okay, let me try that. Going as I thought they would. We should continue on with our mission for now. Ooh! Okay, I tried. I tried. I like how <laughs> Karth is just like right there. How can I help? Can I suggest we move on? Alright, I'm gonna save. Alright, I tried. I tried wooing this woman into falling in love with me. And it's, uh, not working. <laughs> Let's talk to Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? I hate you. I, uh, 
I'm not very good at this. I, I know I owe you an apology. Uh, more than one, probably. I was just so desperate to finally face Saul directly in the Battle of the Terrace. And now the Jedi have us looking for these... these star maps. I know this mission is important, it's just... I, I feel a bit useless. I can... Gosh dang it. Fight, sure, but I'm no Jedi. All this feels completely out of my league. And how's that with Fuji Ashton? Why don't you return to the front lines then? Maybe if you pulled yourself together, you wouldn't be so useless. It doesn't, I know. It, it's been a while since I've even had to think about that sort of thing. I just hate not knowing what's going on and feeling this... helpless. Not, I, but I shouldn't have taken that out on you. I've been a royal pain in the backside, haven't I? Not really. I couldn't care less what you think. <laughs> well, I guess I should be at least a little pleased that I haven't lost my touch. So, I'm sorry. Will you accept my apology? If you agree to work with me for once. Done. Let's get underway then, shall we, partner? All right. I'm actually going to have to save here because Peaches got home and uh, I'm hungry and need to make dinner. So I'm going to save here and we'll pick up, uh, we'll pick up where I left off tomorrow. So everyone, let's see if there's anyone that we can raid. Uh, but hey, thank you so much everyone for hanging out with me yet again. Uh, is there anyone, nobody's popping up on my raid automatic list. Is there anyone, uh, that you guys think we should, uh, raid on here? RGE? Okay, let me find. What's his channel name? Is it Raging Golden Eagle? Okay. Oh, here we go. He is. Start raid. Alright. Raid is ready. Let's all raid. Go raid, Raging Golden Eagle. Go, go, go. There we go. Alright everyone, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna end the stream. Have a good night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.